Hey folks, JD here, and today this is a little bit of a different video. So this is the quadcopter that we're going to be looking at the unboxing of on Wednesday and then the subsequent flight on Saturday. But today I thought we would put this together. So it's been a while since we've had a quadcopter and we've put it together. Uh, I think the last one was the Revel, uh, which was over at Christmas. Um, there was a nice three-part video there that showed you how to put it together. And this video is hopefully all going to be done in a... Si this is all going to be done in a single video. So, there's no soldering with this at all. It's all connectors and push pins. So, it's going to be hopefully really quite nice and easy to put everything together and then on Wednesday we'll do the unboxing and I'll show you everything which is inside included with this. So for now, so for now all I'm interested in are with the bits that we're going to be putting together. So let's go through the three bags that we have in front of us here. So let's open up the largest bag here for the second. This houses the body of the quadcopter as so. We've got a nice little battery there as well and we've got another bit of molded plastic there as well now these are for the transmitter so I'm going to put these back in the bags we don't need those yet right in this other bag here we've got the four little motors just sit in there quite nicely and then in this bag here we have got a little PC board there little PCB where the motors will connect to as well as a little FPV camera sitting right there as well so let's have a quick little look and see I'm not seeing any propellers with this wow that's a relief the propellers are loose in the back in the box so <laughs> let's just get these out now and have a quick little look at them as well so it looks like there's two sets in here so it looks like you'll have one set and then you're gonna have another set ah oh, these are quite nicely marked so we've got A1. All right, so let's put these other four propellers back in here as well. That'll just mean that we keep them nice and safe, put them back in the box. Right then, so here we go. Quite, it looks like quite a simple assembly. So we've got our little, oh, look at that, that's beautiful. That's really good. Okay, so let me just show you what I found. So on this little bit of plastic here, which is obviously the undercarriage of the quadcopter, it's got on the propeller arms, it's got B, A, B, A. Perfect. That makes it really a lot easier to attach when it comes to, to attaching the propellers. So we'll keep it upside down in this sort of configuration. This way we are able to then unhook the magnetic uh, motors here. Just check them for any sort of markings anything A or B, they shouldn't really make any difference at all but still it's always nice to check and then if we come to show you where the little hole is here where the, where the motor sits see there's a little line that runs under here that is going to be where the cable sits so to just fit it all we're going to do is put the motor into the motor housing there and make sure that the cable is in line and then we're just going to push it down. There we go. That's motor A fitted. Perfect. Right then. So I'm just going to go around and do exactly the same with the others. So let's have a quick little look at this configuration. So it should be red and then white. Looking at how this board is set up here. Because you've got red and then white. So if we were to just mock this up very gently. That's how the board would sit. So therefore you'd see the other red part of the, the push pin needs to go in the other side of the motor housing there. So once again just ever so gently, you don't want to pull these cables out of the motors, just push these in ever so gently. There we go, that one's in there as well and then final one, excuse the hands folks, ever so sorry about that. Let me try and see if I can turn it to a weight, there we go. So this is what you're left with. So you're left with on the A uh, alignment, you've got A and A, which are red, and B and B, which are white. Right, let's get something which is not going to conduct any electricity. So let's just use a plastic comb. So let's have a quick little look at this PC board here. So I don't know if you can see, if I hold this under here, no, it's not coming through very well. But there are four holes on this board, one on every side, one on every corner here. Those fit into the holes, I don't know if you they fit into the dowels just sticking up 
on this board here. So making sure that you have got the right alignment next to the colours, just push that in ever so slightly, just like that. Fits in a matter of seconds. And then all we're going to do is just push these little push pins in. Ooh. This looks, this feels really quite delicate. Obviously, as I'm sure you're uh, you're you're seeing at this particular stage as well. Sorry for the hands, folks. Uh, is the fact that that it looks as if this is going to be quite a bare bone quadcopter. It is. It's a racer. It's a little FPV racer that I thought I would buy that really intrigued me. Um, so hopefully, there we go. This is the last push pin. Oh, why is this one being? There we go. And we should be in. So this is what we've got so far. So we've attached, just to, re just to recap, we've got our four motors attached with the four push pin cables here. Then we've attached the PCB, which has got the camera already attached to, which you can unclip if you want to. And then what we're going to do is just for the just for the purposes of this, I'm going to move the quadcopter to one side and show you the camera. So as you can see, on the camera, it's quite a simple assembly. Obviously you have the lens at the bottom, you've got your camera cable here, you've got your antenna here as well, where it's going to uh, feed back all that it sees back to your smartphone. Okay, so leaving that exactly where it is. So you've got a little bit of double-sided sticky tape on the back of the lens as well, just here. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and see if I can assemble this in a way which it makes it quite simple, quite solid, but at the same time isn't going to pull on these cables. Let me just show you as well. This camera has got a little ribbon cable that just fits into this little slot here. Whatever happens, be very careful with this. If any of this assembly here snaps, then the camera will not work. Okay, so the next bit is to use this camera and this little bracket here. So if we turn this bracket over, you'll see it's very difficult again because it's black. But here there's a little notch. Now this little notch here is where this antenna fits. So what we're going to do is ever so gently just push the board, camera board into there. There we go. And now, as you can see, antenna is one side and the power cable is the other side. Okay, so that's it for the two parts. We've assembled the quadcopter and now we've assembled this camera. Now all I've got to do is we've got to then use this sticky pad at the back of the camera and stick it so that it's all nice and secure. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is attach this holder to the quadcopter. So there are three little lines that clip into something. Two at the top here and one at the bottom. And the only way, I, only wet place I've seen that is underneath. This is a very tricky part because the camera has got to fold back on itself. And you've got to tuck that out of the way. Oh, it's a bit of a heart stopping moment. So let's clip this side in as well. Oh, fix the camera onto the bottom bit there, see? So that's what the assembly looks like. Okay, now we can fit the battery housing, which has answered my question as to how this board stays intact and doesn't wobble, stays in place and doesn't wobble like that, because the battery housing fits over the top of all this. So you've got to be careful, that make sure, make sure that all the wires are out of the way. And then what you can do is very carefully making sure that there aren't anything, there isn't anything in the way, nothing obstructing. And then it should just be a simple case of clicking it in. Well, he says, click, there we go, wow. So this is pretty much what it looks like. So you've got the battery housing on the top. You've got the FPV camera underneath here, just there. You've got the printed circuit board underneath the battery housing here. And then you've got all the motors connected to all the push pins all here as well. So now what you should be able to do is just slide this battery in and that's it. You have got a 90% put together quadcopter. Now just for these propellers. So as I said earlier we've got A1 and we've got B2. So the A are the, the red push pins and the B are the white. 
So what I'm going to do is just very carefully push on the B ones. Oh wow, that went in very easily. And then likewise the other B ones. Oh, that didn't go in easy at all. And then likewise the other B ones as well. Oh, that's a little bit fiddly. And then once those two are in, now we'll do A. So now A fits in once, and now A fits in again. There we go. Wow. Right, so there we have it. From no instructions whatsoever that came with uh, this quadcopter, we have managed to build a little FPV racer. So inside here, let me just take us through exactly what we've done in the correct order. So what we've done is we've attached the motors, we've attached the PCB with all these little power cables attached to them. Then we attach the FPV camera and then we attach the battery then to sit on top of the printed circuit board just to hold everything down. And then lastly, we attach these propellers. Now there's going to be a little bit of work needed here to pull down these cables because as you can see, these, these propellers now hit the cables of the motors. Now that's not acceptable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gently going to pull these cables, move these cables here into these little slots underneath here. Now that slot goes right the way through the plastic. So what I'm going to do is just tuck it in very gently here and just pull it down. And then what I may do, I'll leave it for a day or so and see how that works. See, like that, like that, see. And if it doesn't work to my satisfaction, then what I'll do is I'll just get a little bit of insulating tape and I'll just stick these, these wires down just so that these, pro these propellers can pass without hitting any cables at all. Okay, so that's a little tidy up, uh, little tidy up uh, job there for us later. So there we are, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. This was part one, the build. Part two is the unboxing coming on Wednesday, so please join me then. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hello to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.